So I, I have some questions for you, Mo. I have some questions about the, the Quran. No, no, just uh, recording, no life. So, 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 so obviously you probably come across this whole controversy with Yasser Kadi and the differences in the Qurans and stuff. So basically, I wanted to get from a Shia or Muslim perspective of where we get these differences in the Quran from, and what's your kind of understanding of it. First of all, Abu Bilal min Shaitan Jinn. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The Quran and Jesus and Moses, obviously, they came down to talk about Tawheed. You know, like uh, oneness of God. Yeah. The oneness of God is the most important thing because if you do shirk, like if you take two gods, three gods, or worship other than Allah, you'll be in hell forever. Yeah. This is like the biggest sin in Islam. Yeah. A lot of the Muslims today, because what happened was when Imam Ali came and he broke the idols in the Kaaba, he was the only one, bravest one, him and the Prophet, to break the idols, to call to Abraham's religion. Abraham also broke the idols. Do you understand? And then they tried to kill Abraham. Nimrod tried to kill Abraham. So Jesus came down. He came with the same message. The Muslims today, they've got hadiths uh, saying, because um, a lot of the hadith books are corrupted, isn't it? Of the Bukhari and all that, yeah? So they've obviously infiltrated in Islam, the idol worshippers, the pagans, and they've written hadiths attacking the Prophet and attacking Islam. So you see to Islam today is in shambles, I'll be honest with you. It's in shambles because the people are not following the true Islam. The, the true teachings of Jesus were not followed by the Christians, except for one, one part of the Christians, the ones that followed Simon. The ones that followed Simon, they were the true Christians at that time. And uh, yeah, that's 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 what. So, what, so you, you believe Uthman? You believe Uthman changed the Quran or removed verses about Ali? Basically, in, in Bukhari, it says there's a verse, there's something saying the goat, the goat ate. Aisha said the goat ate one of the verses or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And um, basically, we, we we say this is wrong, innit? We say the Quran is preserved. Word for word. Word for word is preserved. However, is every Quran the same? Every Quran is. There's only one Quran. And um, unfortunately, Muslims today are not talking about the hadith books, they're silent. Because I don't know what they're scared of. The, the, the hadith books today, they are causing a lot of uh, corruption in the world. But I'm going to come to you, go on. What's so, so according to the Quran, it, Allah says he is the guardian of the Quran. Yes. So everyone should be preserved. Yes. So now we've been doing some research and you speak Arabic. So yes. here's the Hafs Quran mm. and here's the Wash Quran. So and I, I want to read in Arabic, yeah? Yeah. Allah Karibum. الله قريبا من المحسنين هو الذي يرسل الرياح بشرا بين يدي رحمته حتى إذا أقلت سحابا ثقالا لا سقا سقناه بلدا لبلد ميتا فأنزلنا به الماء فأخرجنا به من كل تمرات كذلك نخرج الموتى لعلكم تذكرون أنا يوم تريده yeah هو الذي يرسل الرياح نشرا بين يدي رحمته حتى إذا أقلت سحابا ثقا Okay, so, so, so I just read it in English uh, and then let you go. So it says, and it is he who sends the wind as a good tiding before his mercy until when they have carried heavy rain clouds in the half. And in the wash it says, and it is he who sends the wind to disperse before his mercy until when they have carried the heavy rain clouds. Yeah. Now, would this be a contradiction? Because we see in the half, it says the winds are sent as a good tidings. Yeah. And in the wash, it says the winds are sent to disperse. So now, the Quran says, if it was not from Allah, they would search for it and find contradictions and many errors. So if there is one Quran and we now look in, the wash is used in Morocco and Hafs is used around the world. Why we have two verses saying two different things and how you would reconcile that? Because Basically, the majority of the people following the Hafs Quran is like North Africa and uh, East Africa, uh, East, North Africa and East Africa. Yeah. Um, basically, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, when he gave down, when, the, when the Muslims today have got it all wrong. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, after he died, Imam Ali completed compiling the Quran. So it was, Imam Ali used to take down the Quran through the angel Gabriel to the Prophet Muhammad to Imam Ali. So, so it wasn't uh, Ibn Zayd no, and... No, no, it was Imam Ali alayhi salam. Okay. He compiled the Quran. Unfortunately, like if you listen to lecture by Dr. Amman Naqshawani, have you heard of him? No. Dr. Amman Naqshawani, He's explained the whole topic on this. Okay. He's done a whole topic and this, he's a doctor with a PhD in Islamic studies. 
Now, unfortunately, people like Adnan Rashid, who claims to be, he doesn't have a PhD, he claims to be a scholar in Islam, but he's basically jahil because my friend, who's a Christian, but he became Muslim, Yusuf, he humiliated Adnan. Adnan didn't even know how to answer a simple question. All right? Also, um, the scholars today, they differ around, among the Muslims. But like I said... But would you say this is a contradiction? No, like, basically, what I'm trying to say, the, the Egyptian... No, no, the Egyptian basically is the Arabic. Basically, what it is, yeah, some people, like, like I said in Bukhari, Aisha said the goat ate the Quran. Yeah. And it went missing. So the, the, the Sunnis are saying that the Quran is not complete, according to Bukhari. So, but from your perspective, yeah. yeah. But so, how do you from because you said all the Qurans are the same, so obviously we've taken up Allah's challenge and looked at the different uh Qurans and yes. we see there's differences in recitation. So, yeah, which the one original would, Quran, yeah, which the original Quran, uh, the one that's printed in Saudi, the, 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 the Hafs, yeah, I say I would say it's the Hafs is the original Quran, the Hafs, the but did Hafs know the Prophet? If you have an original, you must admit there's but did Hafs know the Prophet? No, basically, the Quran is 100%, 100% correct everywhere. Yeah. There's sometimes in grammar, like in the Quran it says, Hada Sarat Ali Mustaqim. So when the Sunnis say, where's Ali's name mentioned in the Quran? Yeah. Ali's, Ali's name is mentioned in the Quran, Hada Sarat Ali Mustaqim. It's 100% clear. But what do they do? There's, a, you know, in the, the grammar of the Arabic, like the, the Fatha, the Kisra, they have added this after. And then they've, they've changed the, the, but, the, gra the grammar. But they've in the Quran says no one can change no, no, the words of Allah. No, so, what, what are you I'm saying they're tampering say, with yeah, the Quran? The like basically, they've tried to, you know, the like plural and all that. But if you, if you listen to Dr. Amman yeah, that's one, of, that's one of the teachers I listen to, my teachers. Yeah. He's obviously uh, talked about all of this. Do you understand? So, that's but, why, um, that, but like I said, brother, yeah. people ask me, where is Imam Ali's name mentioned in the Quran? Yeah. And then Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq has said, this is in the Quran. Ali's name, the um, Ali's uh, the path of Ali is the right path. Do you so, understand? So, I, so unfortunately, like I said, yeah. they've played around with the Kisra, the Hamza, the Dhamma, and this happened after the Prophet died, and yeah. then they've taken it in their own. Like for example, Shamsi, he says everything in the Quran is literal. He said when Allah says Yad Allah aidihum, the hand of Allah is on their upon over the hands. Tell Shamsi, come here, brother. Does that mean that Allah's hand is on top of? Does that mean Allah's hand is on top of them literally? You can't. You but understand? then wouldn't that go against what Allah says that He is the guardian of the Quran? Because what you're saying yeah. is that people seem to be. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we see. We see. Islamic we see scholars have recently said that there are errors of spelling, syntax and grammar and it's estimated that there are about 2,500 mistakes. Ahmad Hashem, uh, yeah there's a there's an article on Jihad Watch. Yeah so it. So what we, were you saying and did you get an answer? So we see even from the article you were saying okay. that there's we even see in Arabia there's been articles of people saying that they should rewrite the Quran because it contains a lot of those errors and gra grammatical mistakes and that's what I was leading into because Doesn't Allah know grammar though. Well, Wonder. this is the thing. Allah is oh. the all-knowing God. So mm. I would, I wanted to get Modine to explain these contradictions because the first one, what is the wind sent as? Is it sent as a glad tiding or a or dispersal to, or, mechanism? Yes. So as we clearly see, he was going into onto tangents, not being able to explain it. You don't mean he was justifying Shiaism, do you? Well, you know, maybe it was some <laughs> form of takia or whatnot. But we clearly see this narrative has holes in it. Oh, it's massive holes. It has holes big enough for Islamic scholars to poke their heads through and confirm. Yes, I, these are the whole, like these are the errors. These are the syntax and grammar. And not only that, um, like I haven't been told and given evidence, but it's been told to, by somebody who's very involved in this research that there is. So some of them are like one different word. Some of them are just grammatical, but one of them at least is has a theological significance. I don't know what that is, but. Obviously, it's not just a mistranscription or a... Well, and that's it. So it's like, as you press on this narrative, the Shia also need, they don't seem to have a coherent answer. You and jest. I, and I wanted, I wanted to give him enough rope to hang himself, you know. I was just asking him simple questions, but he was going into, they've thought every Quran is the same, but then they change Ali's name. But this one's the real one. Of the, all the identical ones, 
this one. <laughs> and that's the it's thing. It's the best one. So you can clearly see holes in the Islamic narrative. Like, why do are we finding these contradictions? Even for Modin, we saw he started with the initial script of every Quran is preserved. Yeah. Every Quran is the same. When you bring out the evidence, yeah. then it goes to a, nif a different story. And this is what repeatedly happens to Muslims. They're programmed to repeat it's something. Neuro-linguistic programming. That. And it's what, y sorry, it's what Yasser Qadi spoke about in his to camera when he was with Mohammed Hijab. He spoke about when I hear these words, I'm comforted. Like when I know this narrative is what he was basically saying that it comes from, there's a line, you don't cross it. As Christians and as just uh, secular academics, we don't have that problem because we just keep asking questions because the truth can't be injured by examination. It just can't happen um, unless it's like the Iraq inquiry, I don't know. So the fact that Qadi mentions regular Muslims and what they need to know would horrify me if I was a Muslim. Obviously not a Muslim girl because I wouldn't be looking into it anyway, allegedly. But if I was told as a Christian, you're just lower level, this is what you need to know. Knowing full well there was a bigger narrative being covered up for 25 years by a Harvard, I think, scholar. He's not an unintelligent man and yet it's given him a crisis of conscience, not faith for like over 25 years and he can't solve it and he's at the top of his field and so is Shabir Ali and so is this Hashem. Mr. Mo, continuing. And uh, back to our regular schedule. <laughs> it was just a little fight in the park. Short, yeah. short intermission. Yeah, but I thought it was just a little fight in the park. Right, so we'll get back to what I was saying. So uh, Can I just want to say one thing, yeah? So, do you know Jesus, yeah? Mm -hmm. what do you, what's your opinion on Simon? Well, let's Maybe just finish the Quran and we'll yeah. go into Jesus. So, because basically, yeah. For, as Christians, we've always heard there's one Quran, every Quran is preserved. Allah is the guardian of the Quran, That's true, as per the Quran. True. But now, it also says, if it were anything from other than Allah, we would find in it errors and contradictions, you agree? Yeah. The Quran says that. So now, this is the thing, when we're looking at different Qurans used around the world by different Muslims, why is it we see what would apparently be a contradiction? So here, we have another right, one. Let me just tell my friend to stop fighting, one second. Right, here I am again. So, this is what you call like a lack of detail to theological significant stuff and more attention to like street thuggery so and stuff. The next Show surah me. I was going Convince to read me. was yes. Surah Baqarah 2184, yep. where it says fasting for a limited number, number of days. So whoever amongst you is ill or on a journey during them, then an equal number of days are to be made up. And upon those who are able to fast, but with hardship, a ransom as a substitute of feeding a poor person each day. And when we go to the Wash Quran, yep. we see Tami Maskeen, Masakin, where it says you feed... Instead of Miskeen, mis it's Masakin. And it says yep. feeding poor people every day. So we know Ooh, this that, is... That affects your budget, because if you've only got to feed one person to like backpedal or to give a... Whatever you're doing, like your arms, as it were, ALM. Lamin. Then, uh, then yeah, it makes a difference if you're feeding the 5,000, as we know Jesus did, so or just the Lamin. one poor guy. So Lamin. Lamin can, uh, as Christians, you come here every week talking about Christians. Uh, we want to ask you about the preservation of the Quran. What does it mean? Because Muslims say... You can talk normally. Back, yeah. Come so we we talk to us about the differences in the Quran. No, if you want, if, 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 no differences. No other differences. What I want, actually, if you want, yes. that's what I mean. You got to get your facts and bring the different Qurans or the differences. You know what I mean? I got here. I got a. I know. I got my, how many Bibles I got here? They're not the same. Do if, the same thing. If I bring, if, the corruption, if, if bring I bring it. different Qurans, I'll bring a backpack. I don't want to. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Just bring two. Bring two. Here Just is evidence. Two. Here is evidence. Just bring. Read it in Arabic. Okay. Can you read Arabic? Read it, yeah, no, no, I want you to read it. Can you read it? No, 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 no. Can no, no. you read it? No, you. Ca can you? Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask first. Can you read it? Because I can read Arabic. What I'm saying. Okay. If you can read Arabic, you yeah. should know. You better claim. What yeah. is the difference? I want there? you to verify it. <laughs> I want you to verify. Bring, bring a Christian I, I Arabic, want, Arabic. I want you to verify if it's a lie or if it's a truth. Okay. Salamin is going to come. You say Muslims want to cut. They don't want to. No, no, no. No, okay, no. I want you no, to no, read no. this. You said it's a different, uh, 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 different uh, variances. Or Bob came and said it. Jess Smith said that. Jess King. I want Jess you to explain came. what and this Hatun, means. Last week, Hatun said it. No, no, explain. Would, it. Yes. You made a claim. You got to make a difference. Read I want you to explain. Okay, Lamin. One more question. 
One more question. Because you see, he will not read the Bible in Greek, but he will bring. Labin, you come to the park, but you don't bring the Greek Bibles, but you bring English. Next time you want to debate a Christian, bring a Greek Bible. Bring a Greek Bible, read from it, and then debate a Christian. No more English Bibles. Because if you're telling me, if you're telling me to read, bring your, bring your, bring your Greek, and then you'll find out. Bring your Greek Bibles. Bring your Greek Bibles. Bring your Greek Bibles, and we'll find out. You see, this is the double standard of the Islamic Dawati. He says, read the Arabic, but yet he brings the Bibles every week. Does he bring the Greek ones? No, he doesn't. He brings the English translation and says how many Bibles. So. I've been reliably informed that he does bring a thousand pounds. <laughs> An <laughs> to invisible one. it looks one. like a 50 and a 20 folded up, but I mean, that's just hearsay. Well, that's it. It could be just paper in the middle. There are tissues printed to look like 50 pounds, I'm just saying.